Look at all the shrimp. Oh, look at how cool this fish is. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be getting a panther grouper for the 200 gallon saltwater aquarium. The lights are off on it right now. Everything's on a timer. It's two o'clock, the lights come on in an hour. By the time we get back, the lights should be on, ready to go. And we're gonna head to the pet store right now and go pick up our new panther grouper. And we are here at Mark's Ark, right there. We're gonna go in and get our new panther grouper. So I see a little panther grouper. They actually just got a whole shipment in of new saltwater fish. I see a little one right over here, but I don't think that's what we're coming in for today. I actually got a call from them and they told me they have a massive one in. So we're gonna be getting the bigger one just because you know we do have a lot of big fish in that tank. So yeah, we're gonna go with the bigger one. What else they got? Oh, they got a little eel. We actually have this eel. We got one from here. But yeah, they got a whole selection of saltwater fish in. Um, oh, wow. Big puffer fish right there. Or what? No, that's a parrot. What is that? If you guys know what that is, comment down below. I'm not sure. It says a bicolored parrot, but I'm not sure. But this is what we came for today. Right there. Big panther grouper, literally the size of my hand. That thing is so sick. He's going to look great in the aquarium. While we wait for a worker, I do want to show you guys all the fish they have. And I spotted this flower horn. It looks exactly kind of like George, the one that Paul has. They got so many fish here, it's insane. And then over here are the invertebrates, saltwater invertebrates, like arrow crabs, starfish. But I do want to get a close look up on this thing. This thing is huge. So perfect, a perfect size for the aquarium. Remember, we do have a 200 gallon aquarium. There's about six fish in there. Adding one more isn't gonna hurt. It's 200 gallons, so we're, we'll be fine. Obviously, once the fish do grow out of the tank, I do have places for them to go, and then we will restock the tank with maybe community fish or more exotic saltwater fish. Hey, don't wanna fish you out, I'm sorry. That was way too easy. I hate those. Got him. Ooh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look how big that thing is. After these fish grow out the tank, which is probably like a year from now, I do want to do a community tank, make the whole salt water, the 200 gallon, a community tank. If you guys think I should do that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, community tank or another predatory salt water tank? Got our panther grouper right in there in his bag. I'm going to throw this shirt over him so it doesn't get hot and he stays nice and not stressed so go that right over him and we also got some live shrimp to add to our tank to feed all the fish and some silver sides as well so we'll do a little feeding while this guy is acclimating now we're gonna head home and add our panther grouper to his new tank i'm so excited you have no clue i've been looking around so much for the right size panther grouper because Little ones will not do good in my tank with the big one. And fortunately, somebody brought this guy in because he was eating his fish. I mean, that's kind of bad, but good for me. So I'm really happy this guy's about eight inches. He's bigger than the bumblebee, actually. If you get this video to 20,000 likes, I will go back and this will be the last fish I buy for the tank. This is something I know you guys want me to do and I'll do it if you get this to 20,000 likes. Ready, ready, are you ready? I will go get a shark, yes. They're like bamboo cat sharks. They're pretty cool, they look exactly like a nurse shark. Get this video to 20,000 likes and I will order one of them for our aquarium. See you guys at the house. And we are back at the house with our massive panther grouper right here in his bag. I'm gonna put him down real quick. And then I wanna show you guys, we also got some live little shrimp over here to feed to our lionfish and pretty much every fish in the tank eats them. And then some silver sides that we'll also give them before adding them to the 200 gallon aquarium, we gotta fill it up, that's why you see the white. This thing drains, you'd be so surprised if this thing drains so fast. And our Jack, he's right here, he's doing good swimming in the current. But let's turn on the white lights real quick. Got our puffer fish, got our little trigger fish, he's so cool. A little Jack's doing good, we gotta wait for the lights. Got our little butterfly fish right here, what else? Oh, and then there's the beast of the tank, coming out of his rock, lionfish. Some sea urchins. Where's our eel at? He pops his head out every now and then. Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. Anyways, we are going to get the panther grouper acclimating so he can get into the tank as soon as possible, less stressful for him. And then we have a new panther grouper. I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna dump him in the bucket and then get a little drip acclimation going. But here, let's do this. This is good. 
easy as possible. Come on. Boom. Just like that. He's in. Perfect. Got a little drip acclimation right here. We'll give this guy about 20 to 30 minutes as well. So while he is acclimating, we'll fill the tank up and feed the fish. I got some shrimp right here along with a net and a bucket and I just filled up the tank. So now it's time to feed the fish the shrimp. Alright, the shrimp are in the net. Shrimp will bring it over here. Look at all the shrimp. Oh, sugar fish. Sugar fish. Oh, they need another one. He's going crazy on them. Oh, look at the line fish. Boom! Wow. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. Puffer fish is trying to get one right now. Oh, gosh. Anyways, we just fed the fish. I think it's time for our panther grouper to go in his tank. So I'm going to take this out. And add him to the tank. Come back. Wow, this thing is heavy. Boom. Look at how cool this fish is. He's going right into the cave. I'm going to give him some time. I'm not going to film him too much. I'm going to pick the camera back up in like three hours once he's comfortable. And talk about him some more and show you guys him. And we are now at Paul's house. We actually just got back from the Keys, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the piglets. I'm sure you've not. I'm sure for some of you that don't know Paul, Paul is a friend of mine who has basically a farm in his backyard, and he has roosters, as you hear in the background, like four pigs, and yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, this is Bubba. A lot of you probably know Bubba. He was like this big. Before Bubba was Paul's, Bubba was my brother's. My brother actually received it from a friend that could no longer take care of it. And my brother was like, I have a pig, I don't know what to do with it. So Paul took Bubba in, and now he's massive. Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. Now he's massive. Peppa. So yeah, Paul has four piglets. They actually just had babies. Bubba and Paul's pig, Lulu. They had babies and they had four babies. Paul gave two of them away to a friend and kept two of them. And one's name is Blue. Blue's over there with its mom, Lulu, if you zoom in. Oh, yeah. There's Blue over there. They have all this to run around along with roosters. And then over here, Paul has two beautiful swans. Look at those things. So pretty, along with some ducks too. It's literally like a farm here. But yeah, we just got back to the Keys and I thought I would just film some of this because it's really cool. And for some of you that don't know Paul, this is what he has. A lot of you do know Paul, a lot of you don't. So this was just for some of you that don't know Paul and that you're probably like, who's Paul when he's always in my videos or who's Nick and Paul? This is Paul. That was just a little update on Paul's farm animals. I'm sure he has a lot more. And guys, I actually have a secret. Don't tell Paul this. I don't know if he'll watch this video, but I do plan on surprising him with a baby goat for his new backyard. So if you guys think I should do that, let me know in the comments down below right now. Let me know if I should surprise Paul with a baby goat. Let's go around to the front pond real quick. Yeah, what the? What is that? That's Paul. That's Paul. Yep. <laughs> it's normal. Not only does he have chickens over there, he has baby chickens right here. I mean, what is going on? I, I don't know. I mean, he probably has a chicken in his room uh, for all, all, for all we know. Yeah, these are baby chickens. I remember when these things were like this big, and in a matter of a week, they grew a good four inches. Yeah, these are Paul's chickens. They're cute. Hi, buddy. Go get there. Look how big the wingspan. Oh, wait, what are. kind of chickens are these again? Dude, I could not tell. No, you. Why is its feet so hairy? A feather foot. This is the ugliest chicken I've ever seen in my life. I think it's pretty cute. Indian spotted turtles in here. So what? What is this? Indian spotted turtle. Indian spotted turtle. Look at the colors on this insane. turtle. Like that is crazy. And this is a cool little enclosure. Okay, buddy. Well. They know you don't. I told them I was gonna surprise you with something. So oh, just yeah. don't watch this video. Okay? Oh. Yeah, don't watch this video. All right. You gotta send me the link of the one not to watch. Yeah, don't watch this one. Because I watch all of them. Just Who wouldn't? <laughs> Nick and Paul, come on. <laughs> just don't watch this one, all right. okay? It's all gonna right. be a surprise. I'll give you a little hint. It has fur. I think fur. So it's a mammal. It's a mammal. All right. And it's something for your new farm. It's not a pig. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. yeah so don't yeah, yeah. any more of those. Yeah, we don't need anything. Okay, that is all we got for you today. Um, if you guys enjoyed me getting that new Panther grouper, shout out to Mark Sark for hitting me up. Those things are, yeah, he's annoying. Anyways, but shout out to Mark Sark. 
I didn't. Okay. Shout out to Mark Sark for hooking us up with that Panther grouper. I mean, I how long have I been looking for one this that size? A long, very the reason, long time. They, you can find a bunch of them like this big, but it is so hard to find them this big just because fish I have in my tank would eat a little Panther grouper. So, Mark Sark called me, gave me one about yay big, yay wide, yay big, yay wide, and now we have a Panther grouper. The only thing we need left is a shark. 20,000 likes, I'll get a shark. 20,000, no way. 30,000. 30,000. 40,000. 50. 50. 50,000. All right, 50,000, because Holy finding a shark nice. that's like good for that tank, because we wouldn't get like, you know, a normal shark, like a... I mean, we're getting we're a gonna bull get, shark. No, we're not gonna get a bull shark. Something like that. I don't know, 50... 50,000? 50,000 likes. 50,000, there's no way. 40,000. Oh, don't doubt your fan base. Okay, 50,000. 50,000, you heard Paul. 50,000 likes, and I'll go find a shark, I promise you guys. But anyways, that is all we got for you today. We got a new Panther grouper. See you in the next one. See you!